<laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're kind to of me. You're always so kind. And welcome to another episode of the Barry Bow Show. I'm working in the annex today in beautiful suburban Folkroft and still home of America's Best Crime Writer. And this episode comes from another suggestion from Patty Given. Let's go. A harbor patrol worker sees a red bubble floating in the Pacific Ocean off the shore of Santa Catalina Island. He pulls his boat over to investigate and sees a red jacket under the bubble. Hanging down from inside that jacket is a body dressed in a flannel nightgown and wool socks. I'm talking about the body of Natalie Wood. Now, Cat, can you hear me? Cat? Okay. You may be too young to remember Natalie Wood. She was an actress and she starred in four huge movies. Miracle on 34th Street, Rebel Without a Cause, Splendor in the Grass, and West Side Story. At the time of the discovery of her body, she's married to Robert Wagner. Cat, you probably don't remember him either. In fact, though, it's the second time they were married to each other. Hollywood. Robert Wagner amassed 155 acting credits, including The Longest Day, The Pink Panther, 66 episodes of It Takes a Thief, and 111 episodes of Heart to Heart. So, here's what happens. The date's November 29th, 1981. It's the long Thanksgiving weekend, and Natalie's spending the weekend aboard her yacht with with Wagner, with Chris Walken, and the ship's captain, Darren Diver. Natalie and Walken are finishing shooting the movie Brainstorm, which will be released in 1983. The four of them go out for the night at a restaurant in Santa Catalina. They have dinner, and they do some heavy drinking. Then they return to the yacht. Wagner says he and Walken got into a political debate, which bores Natalie so she goes to bed. Later, he says the dinghy starts banging against the yacht, which causes a racket. So much so, Natalie can't fall asleep. So, she comes out, goes out on the stern of the yacht to tighten the rope. Now, Chris Walken says he doesn't remember talking politics with Wagner. He says he just went to bed. In any case, somewhere in the middle of the night, Wagner realizes that Natalie's not in bed, nor is she anywhere on the yacht. So he theorizes that she must have lost her balance when she went out to secure the dinghy and fell overboard. The next day, the LA's chief medical examiner goes to the yacht and he observes scratch marks on the yacht's dinghy and theorizes that Natalie Wood accidentally fell overboard, landed against the dinghy, then tried to climb aboard the yacht or the dinghy, but she failed and she landed in the water. She succumbed. During the autopsy, he observes superficial bruises on Natalie's body, which he attributes to his theory. A blood test reveals an alcohol level of 0.014, and he classifies her death as accidental drowning. Two days later, with tears in his eyes, Robert Wagner kisses Natalie Wood's coffin at her funeral. And by December 11th, the case is stamped closed. But is that what happened? As America's Best Crime Writer, my antenna shoots right up. Like I said earlier, Chris Walken says he doesn't remember talking politics with Wagner. He says he went to bed. But remember, there's a fourth person on the yacht, the captain. And here's what he says. Natalie and Chris Walken were flirting with each other all weekend. And things turned nasty after they returned to the yacht. The four of them sat around talking and drinking. But at one point... Wagner smashes a wine bottle on the table and yells at Walken, What are you trying to do? Fuck my wife? That's when Natalie storms off and slams the door of her room. Wagner follows her, he confronts her, and an argument ensues. And when Wagner returns after the argument, he looks tousled and he's sweating profusely. With Walken already in bed for the night, Wagner and the captain stay up and keep drinking. Then around 1.30 in the morning, Wagner goes to check on his wife. When he returns, he says he can't find her. The captain suggests turning on the floodlights and looking for Natalie in the water. 
But Wagner vetoes that suggestion, saying, we don't want to do anything, Dennis, because we don't want to hurt all these people. So they radio Harbor Patrol. Books have since been written. The captain's book comes out 14 years ago in 2009. And two years later, in 2011, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department reopens a case. And the following summer, the coroner changes the cause of death to drowning and other undetermined factors. His closer examination on the bruises on Natalie Wood's body suggests that she was assaulted. And just five years ago, in 2018, the Sheriff's Department reclassifies a death as suspicious and names Wagner as a person of interest. Robert Wagner is now 93 years old, but for some reason, he refused to talk to the police about his wife's death. There's a ton of stuff online, so go dig in and form your own opinion. So that's it for today. Now, I already mentioned being America's best crime writer. In fact, I mentioned it twice, and I just happen to have a copy of this baby sitting right here, Born to be Wild. Warner Books published it 30 years ago. It's still selling. And look, there's a cover of me. That's what I, or picture of me on the back cover. That's what I looked like when I wrote the book. Get your copy while the supply lasts. It's available to Amazon and most booksellers. Thanks for stopping in today. Until next time, see you.